Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. Every week I take time and we dive into the Word together because the Word exists as an encouragement to us, but it also encourages us to encourage others. Today, following in the wake of this last Sunday, where we talked about the simplicity of the good news that Jesus gives us, I want it to be simple. And I want to talk about life because that's what Jesus offers to us. And that's what he asks that we share. Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 10 talks about how he is the shepherd and the sheepfold and the gate. That he exists as a way for the sheep to be protected for the sheep to also have a way out into pasture, into the fullness. And he talks about the contrast between the sheep fold, the gate, the shepherd, and the enemy, the deceiver, the thief. And in John chapter 10, he says this, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the shepherd or the gate or the the sheep fold comes so that we may have life and life to the fullest or life abundantly. It is a full and it is a beautiful life that Jesus offers us. And that full and beautiful life is something that we can choose to share that there's an abundance and there's a fullness and there's a goodness that comes from living in the life that Jesus gives to us and offers to us. And what he asks us to share is not a list of theological beliefs about God. It's not a list of doctrinal statements. It's, it's not a dogmatic system of things, what Jesus asks that we share with people is life. That the community of people that's been given to us because of Jesus is life-giving. And the place that those people that believe in that person, the place that they gather is life-giving. And the things that we're challenged to do for others and in other people's lives is life-giving. And the word that we dedicate ourselves and we read is life-giving. It is abundant. It is full. It is everything that Jesus says that he is. And Jesus is just asking that you share with people the fact that your life is abundant. And so my prayer for you is that you would see Jesus and his way of life as full and abundant but that you would also share with others the ways that what Jesus has given to you is in fact full and abundant. And so I'm going to pray that over you and I'm going to keep it simply right there that we would see Jesus as someone who has given us a full and abundant life and that we would share with others the full and abundant life that we've found. So I'm going to pray that over you. And I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Father God, thank you for the fullness and the abundance that you've given to us in Jesus. I thank you for the people that have filled our life with encouragement and empowerment and reminders of who we are in you. Father, thank you for the places that we gather. We gather in homes. We gather in your church. We, we gather at the park in your name, to encourage one another and to be encouraged and to share the life that we have. Father, thank you for the abundance of reminders that you give to us in your word and in worship songs of how full and abundant our life is because of you. Father, help us to be people that look like we live a full and abundant life and full and abundant in simplicity, full and abundant in the simple things, full and abundant in the the readily accessible things. Thank you so much for who you are. Thank you so much for what you do in our life. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.